Draven Vargas continuing his attack with those forearms. Reverses the whip. Draven Vargas going up, coming back and taking a big elbow in mid-back. Draven Vargas trying to show some rare athleticism here, and uh, he paid the price. He anticipated Robinson would just take the bait and go right under him, but Robinson saw past that, and now you see him having the edge. He is the aggressor right now in this match. Sending his opponent across the ring. Vargas, Vargas reversing. Oh. Jonas and Robinson up on top, and now Vargas in charge. Leaves his man at the turnbuckle. Comes across ring with a huge clothesline, going for a cover. And Jonas Robinson very, very smartly getting that foot on the rope. Oh, now here comes all that weight. Oh! Oh, and he catches him and win the midsection. Oh, but Jonas Alvin Robinson is hurt from that too. That's 245 pounds of solid mass coming down. And Jonas Alvin Robinson was able to get out of the way of it or block it. But you can see now, the shirt's been lifted up. The tape is exposed. Now, I don't know. I'm no doctor. I don't know how much that's going to help protect He's him. He's got to break through all the Twinkies in that guy's back to get through his bones and muscle. Exactly what, I, what well, he said. But yes, you see, that's the sign, the evidence of a couple weeks ago in Portland still nursing the injury from those brutal mallet attacks. And now Robinson is exploiting that weakness, and now he's going for a, look at this, that's a camel clutch right there, a variation on the camel clutch he's got there. This that's is a all, submission move, correct? All that weight on the back of Draven Vargas, I would not be surprised if he tapped out right now. And as you said, Z-Man, that is the area that was uh, severely beaten by that, that mallet attack in Portland. Vargas trying to break the hold with those elbows. But Robinson countered. Vargas looked to show another a elbow spark to the back. Life. A spark of life coming out of Draven Vargas. But Robinson extinguished that pretty quick. And here going for the cover. Jonas Robinson getting a two count now. You notice, Mr. Kelly, the elite tonight. Robinson is wearing the regal purple and gold. I mean, that's just about how the elite feels. They feel like they're the kings of the ring right now. Oh, the I... Northwest. They... You have to agree with that as Jonas Robinson continues his attack on Draven Vargas. And it's all Robinson at this point. Rolls his man up, lifts the leg, gets a two count, and another one. Look at this. Rib, wow. Ribs back. It's all fair game because that is an affected area. And you got to believe Draven Vargas is. If he bleeds, he's going to be bleeding gravy. Another wonderful insight by the man they call hey, G Shot. You sit down, Pat. You don't do anything. You do what the man says. Draven Vargas out of the ring. And oh my God. G Shock taking the boots to him. This is entirely uncalled for while the referee is being distracted by Jonas Albert Robinson. But That's you know, a travesty. Well, you know, you call it a travesty. I call it smart. To coin a phrase from Dr. Cleaver, that's wrestling smart. That's teamwork by the best tag team in professional wrestling today, or arguably one of the best. I've got some other of my own favorites. But right now, pound for pound, I think the elite is the best tag team in the Pacific Northwest, especially the WC. Jonas Albert Robinson continuing the attack on the lower back of Draven Vargas. Another big elbow to the area. Vargas trying to dig deep. Oh, Whoa, and sends man. his opponent off the ground into the mat. And look at this little roll up. Look at that roll up. It produced a two count. Very impressive athleticism from Draven Vargas. I'm getting impressed at the agility, the surprising agility of Draven Vargas. Sending his man into the turnbuckle. Here comes Draven. Oh! Oh man! That is a huge splash. And now he's gonna send his man across the ring. All that weight and absolutely no give in those turnbuckles. He's gonna come at it again. A swing and a miss by Draven Vargas. And now Robinson with those knees in the back. He, again, exploiting that injury, exploiting that weakness, Pat Kelly. He goes for a cover, lifts the leg, and gets about a two and a half count. This is a great showing by Mr. Robinson, showing that he can hang with the likes of Draven Vargas. Wait a minute, oh! His man coming off the rope, taking him into the match, both men down. Draven Rob Vargas has the arm over Jonas Albert Robinson, and another two and a half count. 
That black hole slam should have put Robinson away, but showing the resilience of Robinson. And as I said, how he can hang with the big boys, literally like Draven Vargas's case. And now going for the head crusher. But that's the elusiveness. Jonas kicks out. Now back to his attack on the lower back of Draven Vargas. Now wait a minute, referee Jay Stone calling for the bell. Robinson wasn't letting up on that attack in the corner. Wait a minute now, Draven Vargas taking out his aggression out on G-Shock, the former Lightning Division champion. And wait a minute. G-Shock. And now G-Shock saving his protege, Jonas Alba Robinson, from any further damage from the likes of Draven Vargas. Vargas wins the match. As a result of a disqualification, Robinson would not let up with that corner. He was out on a mission to hurt Draven Vargas. There is your winner. But you know what, that shows, that's a testament to Robinson's versatility and his tenacity in the ring. He's, a, he's an aggressive wrestler. He's learning all he can from G-Shock, taking the, the, the things he learned from Lance Storm in Canada. He's taking all that knowledge and he's producing big dividends in the ring like he did against Draven Vargas. I do have to agree with you here, Z-Man, that it was a great opening matchup tonight and that Jonas Albert Robinson has come a long way in a short period of time, but Draven Draven Vargas giving him all he could take tonight in our matchup. It's a WC on TV. Stick around. Much more to come.